biggest Hindu religious structure in the whole world. One of the eight wonders of the world. It's not bad. We'll roll with it. Look at the faces. <laughs> That's so big. I reckon with one step, you'd make it to the bottom. Fucking hell. Look at that, man. I think we're in for a good one. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome from Siem Reap in the northern part of Cambodia. Today I'm going to be taking on Angkor Wat, which is the second largest class of city in the whole of Cambodia. Back in the day it used to be the biggest city in the world. It still is the biggest historical um, religious church structure in the whole world still to this day. It's where they filmed Tomb Raider, Lara Croft. What a sick film. It was abandoned of, like of, f mysteriously for no real reason a long, long, long time ago. And now it's just an amazing place to go and see. I was meant to go and see it at sunrise. And we're currently seeing it at eight o'clock. I arrived here at uh, 5.30 in the morning. I got a 12 hour bus from Koh Rong. It took absolute ages. I've not slept at all. <laughs> I've literally slept maybe one hour just where I've stayed and I had a quick shower, freshened up. So I'm on my last legs right now. I've not eaten any food. I have brushed my teeth, I have freshened up and that. So we can work with it. And then after today, it's literally sleep, wake up, and then I gotta get a nine hour bus somewhere else. So it's gonna be an interesting day. I've gone and changed the tour from the sunrise tour, which would have been really good. If you do this sunrise tour, you have to get picked up at 4.30 in the morning. Now I'm doing the sunset tour and <laughs> Maybe for the first time in the, la in the last five days, I will get the sunset. And you're also not able to take the drone, which does suck. But yeah, I'm just waiting to get picked up now. So catch me there. Right, we have arrived. Obviously, there's been a bit of talking going on. I will catch up with that in a minute. But just whilst we're here, look at the size of the map. So I'm currently here. And this, this square, three kilometers wide. And that's right there. And he says there's four, four or five different entrances here. This is Angkor Wat. There's a massive lake here. This, this whole place is insane. This is a, obviously this is Siem Reap, the city. And this is far bigger than the city itself. And obviously used to be the biggest city. Obviously the, the facts that it begin, I'm pretty sure all those facts are. I did look them up online, but as I get told more things, I'll feed them back because <laughs> my memory today is going to be terrible because I literally have slept one hour. <laughs> He's saying that these are the these are the gods and these are the evil demons, and they look no, well. They look sort of happy. <laughs> they they do not look happy at all. <laughs> and up here, it's probably it's, this is the worst camera for a long distance shot. But yeah, there is four faces. Obviously, there's one on the back as well. So one, two, three. But I'll go again when we get closer. Got the faces. <laughs> So you can see these ones are like new. The guys said that some of them were stolen and they fell off, so they had to get reconstructed. And obviously there's a face up there. It's a lot of faces on that one. Mad team. He was explaining how all of the stones that they quarried were all like really rough. So they would just pick them up and rub them together to make them more smooth. Which is interesting. He just said it took 37 years to build this place. And when they're building them, they use a thousand elephants and all these structures here. You know, I said there's 49 or 56. My memory today is not with it, so you correct me if I'm wrong there. <laughs> but yeah, 49 or 56 structures here to do the solar system also, and all have faces on them too. And also, look at the weather. <laughs> the sunsets will get more promising. I swear to God, if I don't get one today, I'm gonna be so annoyed. <laughs> Now I've been to some very tourist places and this has definitely got to be here. <laughs> it's got to be one of the highest tourist places. I mean, understandably, I'm, I get why, but... <laughs> so many tourists. All these mad carvers on the wall. So this fish here, right, which is bigger than a crocodile, it weighs like 300 kilos. I mean, he's explaining how crocodiles just eat humans. And this is them on the battlefield fighting each other. Crazy. There is a monkey out there. I don't know how well it's going to show. But 
Yeah. 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 There's loads of monkeys running around, they're quite friendly, so they're gonna get a little fist bump. <laughs> you were just saying, and they flew a drone from above. They said that the architecture of the building is like a lotus flower. And you just better get to the third floor. Yeah, all the bats up there too. You just better get to the third floor and he claims it's beautiful, but you're not allowed for yeah. restoration purposes. It's loads of them now. A little fight. <laughs> Go on, tap. <laughs> Take down. <laughs> RKO. Just spy it. Can I get one to take this? You want to take this? No, you don't want me bottle. Oh, he's getting his teeth out. <laughs> Come on, look at this little fella. You want me bottle? Oh. <laughs> That's mine, that is. <laughs> Screw the temple, let's just go and watch the monkeys all day. They're all over there, all swimming. <laughs> Might have to see if I can zoom in when I edit the video for that, but it's pretty mad that. They're everywhere, oh my god. Look at this little fella. He's got the leaf stuck on his leg. So this one's a Hindu temple and it's absolutely massive quite frankly. I don't know why it's so high off the ground. There's a big ass walkway. <laughs> big ass walkway. And you're not allowed the drone. Imagine the drone now flying all the way down there, going all the way around. It'll look awesome. And this is all the rock that's falling down from up there. Loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. <laughs> Look at that for a walkway. Oh, it's awesome. Why doesn't that be in your house? That'd be sick. Tell you what, as well, all these walkways. Massive. I'm having no issues of crouching down. Oh. Like all the other places I've been. We have the Espanol with us, also. Hola, gracias. That's so big. So we're already so high up the ground already. It's like obnoxiously big. Very much left of this one, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it feels like it's fallen down. It says you can go up that set of stairs. I think you can go up that one, I think. It said you can't go to the very top. But I mean, there's no security guards. I'm gonna have a little look. <laughs> Although, it's probably not much to actually see, to be honest. That does not need to be that steep. It wobbles a lot as well. <laughs> so much. So you can go to the top. <laughs> so steep. Might as well walk up all this back in the day. Well dodgy. I mean, it's very dodgy now. Oh. Awesome. That was a nice view. It says there, do not exit. To be honest, I don't think I really want to do anyway. <laughs> Sheer drop. <laughs> it's hot up here as well. Well, that's kind of cool. I can work with that. Oh, hey. I reckon with one step, you'd make it to the bottom. You wouldn't make it to the bottom in one piece, but you'd make it to the bottom. Why is it that steep? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen scaffolding holding up a tree. It's not it's the tree holding up the scaffold. <laughs> but the guy was saying as well, some of the trees are like 350 years old. Look how big that trunk or, trunk or roots, whatever you want to call it is. 
Oh, there is a massive tree which actually is growing through one of the temples that we're going to get to it, hopefully eventually. But look how many bricks are on, man. They're proper on the piss, they are. I want to have a look at their workings. I mean, it's been here for 15, no, 500 years, I think. Something like that. Still can't, well, I bought a zip line at first. I'm going to give you how much I got paid to get on there. So there's not how to go in this one. I mean, you can't even get to it anyway. Just <laughs> want to have a little swim. What a shame. This is the main stage. <laughs> main stage. <laughs> awesome. And it is so hot. It's freaking boiling. Get more sweaty. <laughs> it is kind of mad how after all those years it still is I mean it's standing <laughs> it's not very level <laughs> but it's standing it still counts for something do you know what I mean so the most famous iconic temple there is where the movie Tomb Raider was filmed right here this is exactly the temple where it was in the movie I wish I could put in a cutscene, but I imagine most people have seen Tomb Raider. If not, watch it. It's a brilliant film. This tree, 350 years old. It's freaking metal, man. So metal. It's crazy. I was going to say it looks like something out of a movie, but it is something out of a movie. <laughs> Madness. Awesome. Why can't I be in Tomb Raider? <laughs> ah, just a toe pun in the stone. <laughs> oh, my bad toe as well. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Let go. There's so much going on here. It's crazy. Size of that tree. Fucking hell. It's like big ass trees, man. It's got a root on it. Madness. Absolute madness. I tell you what, as well, I'm <laughs> close to tapping out. <laughs> I need rest. Look at the wildest tree root I've ever seen. <laughs> so this is the building that got restored and now back way back it looks like Hogwarts <laughs> yeah. that actually looks sick it looks presentable now for the first time He's now just said that this was where they filmed Transformers. Right, literally right in this scene here. And I'll tell you what, I don't even remember, remember, remember that. I can't go speak now. But he did show us a clip and it is exactly the same. Tomb Raider and Transformers. And that is the wonkiest trail I've ever seen. Right now we've just come to a local village. And he claims we're gonna see, we're gonna, he's gonna show us how to make pancakes. Pretty sure that's what he said. Well, uh, I don't know how to make pancakes, milk, flour and egg. So I'm not really sure where this is going to go. Um, um, this, this, uh... He says the houses were built on stilts because it used to flood really bad. <clears throat> but that doesn't flood. And they got a whole load of food there and I'm starving. Can I stop some food, please? I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, we ate the sugar candy in the park. 
in the center how do you fold it making it shape fold um sometimes i make mickey mouse yeah like a clay you know dracula fish cake <laughs> panda yeah and like this and then they boil it for seven minutes in the hot water and after seven minutes it's floating and they collect it keep in the cool water and they uh, leave them to the top banana top like this yeah. Tasty treat. <laughs> it turns out I get to try these things. It's really hot. It smells like I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not even sure what I'd say it smells like. Yeah. Everyone, you know sabe? Do a taste test. You know sabe? Yeah. So, sabe. Uh, salt bay. Uh, I'm uh, my, my cousin. I have coconut bay. <laughs> ah, this yeah. <laughs> Co coconut bay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I washed my hand already. Yeah. Tastes okay. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Sounds all right. Enjoy. It's still warm, be careful, right? I don't really know what I'd say it tastes like. It doesn't really taste like normal, but... It's not bad. We'll roll with it. I'm not really sure what this one is. It tastes okay. It doesn't really taste an awful lot. It's a bit sweet. It's nice, it's like a doughy meatball. <laughs> so there is Anchor Wat. I can't remember the numbers he said, but he said that this whole moat river was all man made. And it's massive, but yeah, that is I call. And we're on our way. It turns out this is the biggest moat in the world as well. And we leave to UNESCO, the World Heritage in 1992. It's so hot as well. I'm a sweaty mess. It's not a deal at all. Getting there, slowly but surely. <laughs> it's two o'clock. Still not slept. <laughs> Got all the detail. Actually crazy. This beast. And then they still got bullet holes in the wall. What like that? Mental. They said that people would steal the head, sell it on the black market, so that's not even the real one. You see where it's been smashed back. Crazy! <laughs> And all this too. That's so sick. That was built in the year one, 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 three. And it's never been restored, even through small earthquakes. So it's, it's still stayed standing over 900 plus years. These, these have fell though, unfortunately. But the main anchor what? Mental, biggest Hindu religious structure in the whole world. One of the eight wonders of the world as well. And I've just seen it. Allegedly, that was a library. So was that one too. And it's also just like raining. <laughs> but if you can see it here, all the little holes and all the stones. That's how they would move. That's how they place them right where they are there. Because we're still a few meters off the ground. So annoying. Why has it got rain? If I don't see another sunset, I'm going home. <laughs> I just got the sickest shot, but look, you stand on this ground, it just sinks. Look at that, man. Take that in. Unreal. This is the unrestored. 
We're still standing pretty solid, I'd say. <laughs> Quite impressive, actually. Like I'm in prison. So believe it or not, they had one wham ass swimming pool back in the day. And I have one over there, one in the corner, and one on the other side. I would do a backflip into this. <laughs> if uh, that was water. Because <laughs> I'm sweaty. It'd be quite nice right now. Nobody alive to tell us. No any document actually to tell us. So it must be they have something, their own technology, like, like Egyptian. It's right in the centre of the whole place and it's perfectly centred to north. <laughs> in the year 1000. <laughs> no technology. The sun's so bright. <laughs> this is the top top. Gonna walk up near enough a vertical set of stairs. And I wasn't actually gonna get a tour guide. I was thinking, oh, I know, be alright, I've got my own. But I tell you now, if you're considering doing this with no tour guide, I would um, advise getting one because the place is so big and so diverse, you wouldn't even know where you were going. And obviously, every time we're finishing up a place, we also have a driver. So he'll be waiting for us somewhere. So we'll walk from one end to the other. He'll be he'll drive around and pick us up, take us to the next place. So yeah, I would not, I would like to do it on my own, but this is not the place to do it on your own. And obviously the guy is telling us there's information, which is very helpful. But you know, little wander around. And um, we're promised a sunset. So we'll see if we get it. Fingers crossed we do. Claims we're going on some big mountain. Lovely. There's the big boy. The structure's so big. Right. Did it ever really need to be this big? <laughs> so sick. So sick. May as well be going down a ladder. It's that bad. <laughs> One step here at the bottom. <laughs> Leg in the below is shiny because hand touching. I came the first time, 98. <laughs> I don't know what is it, but now I'm not allowed to touch. Our hand very oily, salty, destroyed the hand. It's almost perfect. See the top, the hand not reach. See that? No, no. Some of this detail on the wall was crazy. Jeez, the are... They said that the, the wall was built and then they carved it into the stone it's rather than it being done on the side and stuck on. He is a master who created this engineering. Who created master plan to build this temple? That's that wonderful thing ticked off. Happy days. Now we're going to walk to the van. Everybody and then uh, go and catch the sunset hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, it's just been offered for the first time I was actually being out here, sugar cane. I've never actually tried it, so here's my first time trying sugar cane. Wow, that's banging. I can't really explain the taste, but it's good. It doesn't taste like anything, like, I can't compare it to anything, but it tastes banging. Wow. That's really good. That's a yes from me. Now I feel like I end up buying it all the time. That's so good. Yeah, really nice. Cheers, I hope you enjoy it, yeah. Right, so, made it to the hill to see the sun set, but... <laughs> I'm guessing it's that direction, and it's not looking that promising anymore. But the weather's been so good today, so I'm hopeful. We'll see. Okay, it's so just walk to the top. If you've got long legs like I do and you walk fast, it's only about 10 minutes. If you walk slow, it's only about 20. It's probably taking a lot of people. The sunset may actually be a hit tonight. It's just a shame I've not got the right camera, but they've obviously built a big temple looking building up here as well. And 
we are pretty high. It's just crazy to think how they even got the stones up here. Way back then. See, it's pretty big. God, no way. Looks sick up here. That's how high we are. <laughs> high. Really high. I think we're in for a good one. If we're not, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> Bad enough. Everyone's here for the same reason. This is anything you don't get if you get the sunrise, but I've always said a sunset is always better than a sunrise for sure. It's just where we're going to stand. Can't zoom in on this thing. Wow, it's been a long way, a very long way, and all the small people are beginning to flock over here, but I reckon that's as good as we're going to get. It's just a shame we ain't got a better camera to actually be sending it in the air, but <laughs> what can you do when you physically uh, cannot fly it? So, who knows? Maybe it'll get better, maybe it won't, but if not, we'll, we'll see. Alright, I reckon that's going to be it for now. We can work with that. There's no issue with that at all. Compared to the sunsets I've been trying to chase recently. <laughs> That's definitely the best one. I mean, I'm not getting rained on right now and you can actually see everything. And there's one hell of a view, so <laughs> we'll take that as a win. So this has been Anchor Watt, one full day on zero <laughs> sleep. I've walked 20,000 steps, seven and a half miles. Can't wait to get to sleep. <laughs> gonna sleep tonight, wake up tomorrow, and then go get a bus to Bangkok. So we're going back to Thailand to go into the Southern Islands. So. Stay tuned for that. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.